Hi folks, welcome back to the shop. Today I just want to talk about some products that were sent to me by a company called Mingarista. I'm probably saying it wrong, but that's how you spell it. Currently they're celebrating their 1 millionth sale, so there'll be a coupon code in the description to save a little bit of money on these. Again, they'll all be available on Amazon. I'll have the links below. Uh, different products here, just going to go through them real quick. Uh, here we have a retractable keychain. Uh, it's really nice, uh, made of... Uh, this is a seven x seven stranded steel and it's coated in nylon, has a nice rubber bumper here at the bottom or rubber damper for the reel. Uh, you got yourself a, a, a regular key ring and a, a loop here. And you know, for example, I could pop this on the bag real quick. It can retract up to eight ounces of weight, right? So we can take this loop, put it through these bits. I've got this railer bit load out here as one example. From railer but you know you can see i've got this loaded out with 10 bits and you know no tr trouble retracting those back up right pull them out get whatever bit you need right back to the bag right uh, i'd say it's even so you can see it's got eight ounces of retention which is really nice i can put this guy on here this is a, a smaller one and of course it's got a magnetizer demagnetizer on it and you know i could take a screwdriver and you know pop it in magnetize the screwdriver let this guy retract to the bag so Really nice uh, tactical uh, retractable keychain. Uh, it's it's really really slick and really appreciate they sent in this. It's got a nice carabiner as you can see up here on this end. You can easily take that on and off the bag or you know whatever you want to use it for. So that's nice. So what's next? They have some more they sent and these are even more robust. And this is how they come packaged in these bags, these little Ziploc bags. And this one is it's got a metal container, right? Uh, in fact, I think it's an, a zinc alloy is what they call this. Very robust, very strong. And uh, I think the other characteristics are the same as the other one, you know, seven by seven stranded seal, steel, uh, coated in nylon. It's really a nice uh, uh, cable and uh, dampened again with rubber. And uh, you have your choice of key ring here on the bottom so you can attach that guy. But um, super nice retractable keychain, uh, unbelievable strength, really strong spring in here. Uh, super impressed by it, very nice. Next thing we have, let's see, this is, okay, this is a lanyard. Uh, so, you know, if you have to scan into a building, you work in an office space or uh, a building that has uh, some sort of a scan in system, you can, of course, hang this on the bag and uh, put, your, uh, put your ID in there. Um, let me see here, I'll illustrate. It doesn't block RFID, which is kind of nice because you could take this out, scan into a door, retract back to the bag or order your, you know, wear it on your, your, uh, your belt. So uh, on your person, so it's up to you. Uh, but very nice uh, lanyard as well. And let's see here, the last item we have, I'll have a link to all these items in the description if you want more details. Okay, this is their um, RFID blocking wallet. So uh, it's a very, very nice product. Comes with an extra band. It has a, a band around it. Comes with an extra one in here. Also comes with a hex wrench that you can use to uh, use on this guy to sort of break it down and make it smaller if you want. So this is how it comes, but you could take off this clear outside case and, and scale it down to where it's even thinner. Uh, so the way this works, and they're updating this by the way, so there's a newer one on the way. Uh, this one I think has been discontinued, but uh, so even a better one to come, but you can see how your, your ID would go in. You can show your ID to people. Uh, you use your thumb here. It's got a little cutout. You can push it in and pull it out, take your ID out. And like I said, you can remove this plastic case if you want to. And I think the other idea is that you open it up here where the elastic is. And again, this is RFID blocking. So if you have credit cards that are enabled with RFID, you can put them in there and it's going to block them from being scanned. So so that's where your credit cards would go. And a little thumb piece here, you can push them out as well, out of the back of the wallet. Uh, so the, the clip, this nylon part is to put cash in. You know, you can see I've only got a dollar here, so I don't have much cash. <laughs> but uh, you pop it in there, holds the cash. So that's the idea. You got your credit card, your cash, you can show your ID, break it down as small as you want. Like I said, it's discontinued. They have a better one, I think, coming on the way, an improvement. That's going to be interesting to see when it comes out. Uh, so uh, those are some items that I wanted to show from this company. Uh, uh, it was kind of them to, to send them out. And as you can see, like I said, their, their retractable keychains really got my attention because they are just absolutely phenomenal. And you, like I said, you have a choice of using the ring or the loop and 
uh, the spring tension on these things. The, they're 31 and a half inches long, so that's, uh, that's the entire length of the cable. It doesn't include the key ring uh, or any of that. So the actual cable itself, fully retracted, is 31 and a half inches. So regardless of whether we're talking about the zinc alloy or metal one or the, uh, the plastic one here, uh, that's a little more lightweight. So there you have it folks. Just a quick word on these. Again, I'll have a link in the description. Hey, and leave me a comment on what you think. Would this be helpful for you? Something that uh, uh, might help you in your daily work. And again, there's, uh, there's the company name. Uh, all the products are available on Amazon. And uh, with that said, please uh, remember to uh, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, all these actions help me continue to bring content to this channel. And uh, with that said, I'll catch you in the next video.